Use your calculator to evaluate the following logarithms. Log of 300. So recall that log of 300 is the log base 10 of 300. And if we try to do this one without a calculator, it would be difficult because there's not a nice power of 10 that gives us 300. 10 to the second is 100, and 10 to the third is 1,000. So it's probably between 2 and 3, but that's about as good as we could say. However, our calculator has, the, has a logarithm button on it. And it's over on the left-hand side, and it says log, L-O-G. And so to evaluate the logarithm of a number, the base 10 logarithm, we just type log, in this case 300, close the quantity, and hit enter. And so it's approximately 2.477. So 2.477. So one important thing to note is that if we write log of 3,000, this is considered an exact value. But if I write 2.477, that's an approximation. And even if I were to write out all of those decimal places that the calculator gives, it would still be an approximation. So the only exact value is log 300 in this case. Exercise B asks us to evaluate this ln of 24. Now ln represents the natural logarithm. So ln is the natural logarithm and is the and so natural log is the log base e of in this case 24 where we call e is the Euler number and is approximately 2.718. Our calculator also has a natural log button and amazingly enough it says LN. So over here again on the left hand side LN of 24, natural log of 24 is approximately 3.178. Now again if we write natural log of 24, that is an exact value. Okay, and again, the 3.178 is an approximation.